In terms of what's in each box, key stage one is box one, lower key stage two in box two, and upper key stage two is box three. So year one, two will use the first box, three, four, the second box, and five and six, the third box. This is an example of a key stage one box and one of the earlier cards in the section. And it clearly shows a very colourful and illustrated card for those youngest readers who absolutely need to be engaged with something to read so that they then grow into a reader for pleasure. So we have the text on the first, the first section of the card. Inside we have the comprehension section, the vocabulary section, the spelling section, and on the back we have the grammar and punctuation questions related to the same text on the front. What I particularly like about these cards is lots of schools all over the world are trying to get that balance right of children who really read and children who can read. And those children who really read are reading for meaning and they're reading for pleasure. In the Prime Ed English Skills boxes, there's a real focus on children enjoying what they're reading at the same time as developing skills. So although this is a card earlier on in the Key Stage 1, the cards that follow follow the exact same format and structure as the early cards. And that consistent approach to teaching reading is really going to support the early reader into the transition of Key Stage 1, Lower Key Stage 2 and Upper Key Stage 2. This is a card from the Key Stage 1 box from the Prime Ed English Skills resource and what I would like to point out about this card in particular is that the questions are related to the text on the front and they also follow the content domains for both reading and grammar and punctuation. In the teacher's guide it very clearly sets out a coverage map so you as a classroom teacher will be able to see which aspects of comprehension are being tested on this particular card which strand of spelling from the content domain for spelling and again which strand of grammar and punctuation are being tested. So as a classroom teacher who's busy, who needs to just pick up a resource and run with it, all of the coverage has been mapped for the year. So if you recognise that your children have got a particular gap in an aspect of vocab, grammar and punctuation, then you'll be able to choose the card that addresses that content domain and then afterwards you can monitor and see if those children can apply those new skills from the English skills box into their own reading and writing. Primer Publishing are really keen that children develop as readers, but we can't get away from the actual assessment side of reading. So as well as doing the question cards, the children can also do an assessment. So every time they do three sets of cards, you as the classroom teacher can download a reading question um, test from PrimeEd's website and you can use that to support your teaching of reading and assess if the children have moved on in progression. As teachers we all like to know the impact of a resource so that's a very clear impact to set up already online. You can do three sets of cards and then assess your children and, and see if they've moved on in their reading, their grammar, the punctuation, their spelling ability. This is a card from box two of the PrimeEd English, English Skills box and what I would like to point out in particular about this non-fiction text is that there is the English skills box is more than an English resource. So there is an extra special section that's been added into the cards, which is called the challenge, the challenge section. Some of the challenges are linked to other foundation subjects like art and DT or history and geography. And some of them actually ask the children to do a writing activity related to the card. Now these challenge can be set as extras by the class teacher or the children might like to go away and do some of those in addition to what they've learned in the classroom. So a lot of the subject knowledge that's represented in the non-fiction element of the, of the question cards is actually equipping children with general knowledge so that they're aware of many, many other contexts and general knowledge that they might meet in their primary life. As part of the English skills box, there's been a real focus on the spelling, the grammar and the punctuation in addition to the comprehension and vocab. Children need to be taught how to spell. It's a skill that we should teach as well as test. And in the English skills boxes, there's been a real push to make sure that the content from previous year groups is reviewed in the boxes. So if you look at a card, for example, from box three, we will find that in this card, some of the questions from spelling on this side and some of the questions from grammar and punctuation will be assessing subject knowledge that children should have picked up in year three and four 
even though they're doing a card that's from the year five and six box. As we all know, the English curriculum is spiral and we need to make sure that the children are remembering knowledge from previous year groups and applying it in their following year groups. So that's a huge job for a school to do because lots of us are really busy trying to teach our year group specific grammar, punctuation and spelling and to then go back and have to track back and review previous year group can bring with it a whole set of challenge. But that's been done in, the, in this resource and in the provision map at the beginning of each book it's mapped out so again the teacher can dip into the contents, look at the coverage map, decide there's a gap or a misconception in learning in their class and choose the correct card which will address that immediately and that in turn is an assessment built into the box. Prime Ed Publishing are famous throughout the whole world for be having resources that will save teachers time. The English Skills box is a box that you literally pick up, take into your classroom, teach the children how to use it and it requires no further planning and no further photocopying. So it's a win-win because you just pick it up and, and run with it. What I would like to say about the boxes and how they're used is that the boxes can be used as a whole class reading session, they can be used as a small group guided session, or they can be used as an independent reading activity. So however you choose to teach reading in your school, this box can be used to complement that style of teaching. Teachers may choose to use the same card underneath the visualiser with the whole class and discuss it. They may choose to set a particular group, a card, that they're going to discuss together, or they may ask a child to apply their learning through using a card. So it, it's a resource that's flexible and is able to be used in many different ways in the classroom. Weaker readers can still use a card from a different box and feel inclusive and part of the class. So a child might not necessarily know that another child in the class is working on a card from a previous box because they look the same in that they have exactly the same format. So in turn, work-life balance is reduced for teachers, differentiation is built into the boxes, the children progress through the colours of the cards and they're able to self-mark at the end. So it doesn't, it doesn't involve a great deal of marking and the planning's been done. The teacher's guides really, really support the teacher in terms of what provision's in place for their children and what perhaps they might need to spend more time on. So again, the implications for teaching is addressed in a very natural way in that they're there at the front of the books and teachers can refer to those. So there isn't any extra planning, there isn't any extra assessment, there's no extra photocopying. It's a resource that you can pick up and use immediately in your classroom and I'm sure you'll have great fun with that.